Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how you can create this amazing logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects using third party plugin called Trapcode Particular and Deep Glow. So without wasting any time let's get started. Before starting the video, I would like to say if you are new to this channel, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it emitter. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30, duration 10 second, then hit OK. Now click here, then change the bit depth to 32 bits per channel, then click on OK. Now I'm going to import our logo and project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Now select our logo, then place it into this timeline. Then press S and make it smaller like this. Now right click, then choose pre-compose, then select move all attributes and rename it to logo then hit ok now select the studio reflection image then place it into this timeline then press s and scale value set it 50 sorry set it 50 now go to effect and preset window and search for first box blur now select this effect and apply onto this image then blur radius set it 50 then add motion tile on it click here to mirror edges and increase the output width and output height now go to beginning of this animation set a keyframe on title center then go to end of this animation and increase this x value like this Now simply select this layer, then right click, then choose pre compose, select mobile attributes and rename it to studio reflection, then hit ok. Now select this layer, then put it below this logo layer. Now simply change this layer track matte to alpha matte and select our logo layer. If you don't see this track matte option, then simply click here. Okay, now add CC Blobby Lies. Now go to Blobbiness, Blob Layer set it logo, Property set it alpha, Softness set it 5, Cat Arrow set it 0. Perfect. Now select this two layer, then right click, then choose pick compose. Select mobile attributes and rename it to glossy logo. Then click on OK. Now go to toolbar and select this rectangle tool. And then simply create a mask like this. Now go to around 2 seconds, then open marks properties, then set a keyframe on marks path, then go to around 6 seconds, then double click on this marks path, then simply move on to left side, like this. And then simply change the marks feather to 40. Okay. 
okay now go to project window and create another composition let's call it main then hit ok let's turn off this title okay now create a black solid layer so right click new then click on solid let's rename it to particles then hit ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular particular is a third party plugin from red giant you can download a free trial version from link in the description box below so select this uh, effect and apply onto this black solid layer perfect now go to project window and select our emitter comp then place it into this timeline now make this layer 3d by clicking here and turn off visibility of this layer now select our particles layer then go to effect and uh, effect control panel then go to emitter then emitter type set it layer and particle per second set it one triple zero triple zero then click on ok then emitter z uh, emitter size z set it zero velocity set it 30 and random uh, velocity random set it 50 velocity distribution set it zero and velocity from emitter set it zero then go to layer emitter then go to layer and select our emitter layer then go to uh, uh, layer rgb users then select none now go to particle particle life per second set it 2 and um, spear feather set it 100% particle size set it 1.2 then size random set it 50 percent then go to size over life then click here and uh, select the second preset then go to opacity and opacity value set it 50 and opacity random set it 50 then go to opacity over life then click here then choose this second preset and uh, change the blend mode to add okay now go to environment then gravity set it um, minus to one zero air, air density set it zero then go to displace then go to turbulence field and tf displacement xyz set it 300 then go to lighting then enable lighting and light fall off set it uh, none ae now create a light so right click new then click on light select point light and intensity set it to 82 then click on ok now select our particles layer then go to rendering then go to motion blur then motion blur turn it on then sampling set it 8 okay now add glow on it simply type glow now select this effect and apply onto this layer and then change the glow intensity set it 0.7 looks good to me now go to project window and select our gloss logo then place it into this timeline and put it below this particle layer 
now simply uh, go to around uh, two seconds then and create a max like this then open max properties set a keyframe on max path then go to around here and then simply press v on your keyboard then double click on this max path and then simply drag the path like this and change the max feather to 80 okay let's adjust that uh, keyframes looks good to me okay let's try and preview this okay looks good to me okay now create a new adjustment layer now add deep glow change the exposure to 0.16 okay let's add tree tone now change the colors Okay, let's create another adjustment layer. Now add sharpen. Sharpen amount set it 20. Now um, add curves. Then change the RGB curves to like this. Let's change the color a little bit. looks good to me okay now go to beginning of this animation then select our gloss logo layer then add gradient whip now transition softness set it hundred percent then set a keyframe on transition completion and set it 100% then go to around 3 second uh, then go to around 3 seconds then transition completion set it 0 now press U on your keyboard now select these two keyframe then press F9 to make them easy ease Let's run preview this. Perfect. Okay, now create a null object. So right click new, then click on loon object. Then select this glossy logo layer and particle layer, then paint it to null one. 
now go to beginning of this animation then select this null object then press s set a keyframe on scale then go to around uh, six seconds or seven seconds then increase the scale amount little bit like this now create a um, text layer so right click new then click on text now type your text here now make it smaller and then add a deep glow on it and decrease the exposure to maybe uh, 0.16 now press T on your keyboard set a keyframe on opacity value set it 0 then go to around 7 seconds 15 frames and then opacity value set it 100 now go to this first keyframe then press S to open scale set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and increase the scale value like this okay so our animation is complete you can uh, ramp view this I hope you like this tutorial don't forget to leave a like and if you have any questions then do let me know in the comment thank you very much and see you later peace out